Hello everyone, back with another PBL and STEM project that we just finished up with the fourth graders. In this video, I hope you can see how PBL and STEM allows teachers to be creative in the way they deliver instruction and develop units. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and click on the notification icon as well. Without further ado, let's get started. Jean McLaughlin, Becca Guess, and I designed a fourth grade project-based learning unit that integrated science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and design concepts. In this unit, students took on the role of secret agents of the U.S.'s Central Intelligence Agency, or CIA. According to the CIA website, the agency's job is to collect, analyze, evaluate, and disseminate foreign intelligence to help the president and policymakers make decisions related to national security. We gave our fourth graders the following mission briefing. The global crime syndicate Sinister Society, or SS, has stolen a top-secret password from the CIA that can be used to access valuable information. A team of CIA agents have secretly gone into the SS headquarters and located the top-secret password. Your team's mission is to recover the password using a robot so that there are no human casualties. Once you have obtained the password, translate it using a secret code designed by your team and email it to the CIA director. Good luck, agents. At the start of the unit, students were given the following driving question in the design class. How will you, as secret agents, design a new secret code using patterns to transfer information? This driving question required the knowledge and skills of the following subject areas. In design, students use the design thinking process to design their secret code. In the empathize stage, students gained a deep understanding of the driving question. They first gained an understanding of how patterns can be used to transfer information by learning about binary numbers and how it uses the patterns of ones and zeros and the base two numbering system. They used a Seesaw app to record and explain how to convert a binary number into a decimal number. They then learned about Morse code and how it uses the sound pattern of dit and da to send text. Students used generic electrical circuit components to create their own telegraphs and used them to practice transferring information using Morse code. Finally, students empathized with the end users, the agents who will be using the secret code, thinking about their wants and needs and what issues they might face in their experience using the code. They then specified the criteria of a successful secret code and used it to develop a design problem sentence in the define stage. In the ideate stage, the fourth graders visually brainstormed as many ideas for their secret code, finding patterns that they could use to transfer information. After pairing students into groups, students chose their best ideas and in the prototype stage, created a blueprint based on their criteria. The blueprint included two sets of patterns, one from each partner which created a two-step process in using their secret code. It also included an explanation of how to use the code and examples of translations. In the test stage, each group had their classmates translate words using their secret code. These tests help groups identify failure points or difficulties which they could later improve upon and also ignite new ideas for their code design. Students then filled out a Google form where they compared their secret code to other communication skills, identifying similarities and differences, and choosing one that they felt was the most effective solution based on a set of criteria. In science with Gene McLaughlin, students were given the following driving question. How will your team of CIA agents build and program a robot to retrieve and secretly transfer top secret information? The driving question required the knowledge and skills of the following subject areas. First, students learned how plants and animals have both internal and external structures that serve various functions in growth, survival, behavior, and reproduction. They also learned that different sense receptors are specialized for particular kinds of information, which may be processed by the animal's brain. Using this information, students built a robot with special external structures and sensors that would help it retrieve the capsule that contained the top secret password. They learned how to program a LEGO Mindstorm EV3 robot through three challenges. The Tube Lift Challenge, the 90 Degree Challenge, and the 50 Centimeter Challenge. These challenges required them to use mathematical concepts of measurements and geometric angles. They used the LEGO Mindstorm EV3 programmer app to code their robot to take action. Finally, students carried out tests in the robotics arena and identified and fixed the bugs found in their code. 
If teams were able to retrieve the capsule with the password, they used their secret code to translate the password and email the translation to me, the CIA director. If teams were not able to retrieve the password, they used their secret code to translate the phrase mission failure and email the message to me. Thank you so much for watching. I would like to give a special thanks to Becca Guess and Jean McLaughlin for making this project possible. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and also click on the like button if you enjoyed the content.